All right, fellas, what's up? This is uh, yet another review. Um, I'm basically reshooting some uh, uh, some demonstration videos that I already had and putting some new ones up as well for new canes. Um, this right here is the Cold Steel uh, City Stick. Absolutely elegant, as I had mentioned with the, uh, with the Slim Stick. I almost feel underdressed presenting this to you guys. Um, uh, this is, once again, this is a stick that you definitely want to use for, uh, I guess, uh, occasions where you wear a nice shirt and tie, suit, tuxedo, things like that. I mean, this is, you know, this is real nice looking. Let me zoom up in on here real quick and do a whole, uh, a whole view of the stick. Rubber ferrule, it's, uh, once again, one of those, um, one of those tips that, you want to use for indoors. It's not recommended for outdoor use. Um, uh, tile, uh, carpets, things like that. That that seems to me the feeling I get is that this will be all it can take. Shaft is made out of eleven layers of fiberglass, which is pretty much indestructible. Uh, does not flex. Does not bend. Will stay true. The knob is a uh, heavy uh, heavy aluminum can actually be removed and uh, you can actually engrave this if you want I actually intend to do that so that uh, you know I can make the stick mine I guess you could say and this is very this is real real I don't know if, uh, how well the microphone will pick that up but this is a really heavy uh, knob up here it's much heavier than the knob on the uh, the slim stick so this is pretty much a modern day scepter, so I'm going to just applications, uh, or excuse me, specifications. Uh, once again, fiberglass uh, shaft, aluminum head, uh, rubber ferrule. Um, it's about 36, 37 inches overall. And uh, it's just one of those walking sticks that uh, just, it's, it's real elegant. I'm going to do like a back and forth here real quick, just to give you an idea of... Uh, of how well they do in fact work. Now, um, if you're in a place where um, you know weapons might be restricted or something like that, but the area might still be bad, this uh, you know this is great. I mean, you know, you can just I guess you know fake a limp or something and uh, walk around with this. No one would look at you twice. Um, People just don't tend to uh, scrutinize people with walking aids nowadays. It's uh, it's pretty ridiculous. I mean, I've been in so many situations where, you know, I've had this, you know, this thing, and they don't even give this a look. But as soon as they run into to this right here, um, you know, they focus all their attention on this. Don't give this a second look. It's the tie light, by the way. Also, cold steel product. You can review that somewhere down the road. So. Walking aid, it's also, uh, you know, it's very good, very lightweight stick. You can, um, once again, as I mentioned with the slim stick, you can use the stick itself if you remove the, uh, the knob, and use it as a shambok. You know, it's a little, it's a little thicker, a little more sturdier than the slim stick. That's practically, like, I don't know, it's, it, that's practically a pointer for a teacher or whatever they used to call those things back in school. Got a little dirt on there. Um, I could, you know, I would, I would recommend using this for, uh, you know, non, I guess, situations where you didn't have to use uh, full force. Maybe use that to uh, kill snakes or shoo away uh, uh, dangerous uh, animals. But, you know, maybe you don't want to actually hurt them or them. Because this knob will do some damage. I'm actually going to do some demonstrations. Uh, like the slim stick, this is a stick that is so elegant that you actually do forget that it has applications not only as a walking aid, but as a weapon. Now, I'm just doing that to give you an idea of like, how lightweight and uh, versatile it is. So this knob. A real heavy knob can also do a, do a serious amount of damage with a heavy knob. Okay. 
put that there. Grab some wood. Excuse the Breakfast Club reference. <laughs> Uh, one other thing I did want to also point out, like the Slim Stick, is the knob on here. Very nice, very shiny. If you want to keep it elegant, um, I wouldn't... If you want to like do demonstrations and just show off with your friends, I don't recommend you hitting anything, uh, any hard surfaces. Without putting like a towel over it or something first, because I've heard that I haven't... Uh, I haven't really smashed anything with this yet. Knock on wood, but uh, I have been told that if you hit something hard, this will scuff real easily, which might be an issue for those of you that want to keep your sticks uh, looking pristine. I guess um, I have, you know, in terms of self-defense and uh, things like that. I mean, I have a, a, a couple of other sticks like that. These I actually intend to, uh, you know, keep looking elegant and uh, you know, use them for special occasions. So. I'm going to get a towel here to uh, put over the wood that I'm going to break. This is real sturdy wood. It's, uh, uh, my, I, uh, my grandfather gave me some scrap pieces. He indicated this was a, this is a pretty durable wood. So I'm going to try a one-handed swing one more time. This also has a, wood has similar properties to bone. Uh, they can take some hits in their durable, but you hit it hard enough and at just the right points, they can crack, fracture, or outright break. So I'm going to try a one-handed swing just to give you an idea. I'm a small guy, so uh, hopefully this stick... Well, it's a little heftier than, uh, than uh, the first one, and I went through that one with a one-handed swing. I'm pretty sure I could go through this one like butter as well. So, make sure everything's in frame. sorry for somebody who decided to accost somebody who had one of these. Um, I know what y'all are thinking. Oh, you're giving people ideas, stuff like that. But bear in mind, these are walking aids. And even if you fake a limb or if you have a legitimate limb, the way I see it is if you are a bad guy and you attempt to hurt somebody who appears to be a uh, you know, mobility impaired, whether it be real or not, the fact of the matter is, you are victimizing someone who you think is helpless. And quite frankly, if you're going to do that and they go upside your head with this, you deserve every piece of what you get. And then some more, but that's just my opinion. So, uh, all in all, uh, great walking aid, devastating weapon. I would go as far as to call this a, a modern day scepter. It, uh, it looks like something that a, you know, that a king has like in uh, movies and stuff like that. And why not? I mean, it's, it's elegant enough. So, put this back over here. I'm going to have to sweep that up. So, cold steel uh, slim stick. Uh, all in all, it's great. I got this for like about 50 or 60 bucks on Knife Center. I think that, to, you know, that I know of, they've got the lowest prices. So if you guys want the stick and you want to save some moolah, order from Knife Center. Just make sure it's in stock. Otherwise, it'll take a while for them to get it to you. So uh, I guess that's just about it. Questions or comments, you all do know the drill. Peace out.